Can you tell us a little bit about how training camp was for Kendall and uh, how you're feeling for this fight? It's been great and uh, I'm looking forward to fighting first time in the US and uh, training camp has been going good as well and uh, I'm trying to level up my skills, my mentality and uh, uh, overall uh, everything. So I'm, I'm pretty close to completely ready. So you fought very recently. Um, do you feel that you've had enough time to recover since your last fight? I'm, I'm pretty well rested and uh, I'm good. I feel great. I'm ready. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people consider you to be a giant killer. You know, you face a lot of big guys. Do you think that, um, you know, Kinder Grove being a tall opponent, he's very similar to some of the bigger guys you faced? Uh, yes, I, I fought the taller guy, the Kendall Grove. So I think I can use uh, this my experience of fighting the uh, huge guy, big guy. So I think I, I, do, I do fine to fight the guy like a Kendall. So you know, you faced a lot of um, tough opponents in the past. Um, do you have a favorite fight from your career? Uh, it's, it's so hard to name only one, but uh, just top of my head now, uh, uh, the Super Hulk Tournament final against uh, Terry Sokuju, that's a the really memorable one because I won the belt, and uh, Bob Sapp fighting the Beast, that is kind of, you know, that, that's a tough one. Uh, I thought I gonna die, but, and, uh, and, uh, oh, Gilbert Ivo, that one is exciting too. Uh, there are more, I just can't, you know, name it because it's just too many, but those three are like, I just top of my head, that's the top one, and the memorable fun fights. So, in your fights, you know, you've done a lot of crazy moves, like a drop kick, a front somersault takedown, you know, um, can we expect to see any crazy moves against the Kindle Saturday? Crazy move, to uh, You might call uh, those moves crazy moves, you know, like drop kick and stuff. But uh, to me, I do because there's a meaning to it. That's why it's it's not like a crazy move. Uh, rather, that's a smart move. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, you know when you started wearing the the, the red uh, speedos? You know, how, what's the story behind that? Because I consider myself as a the real pro wrestler and uh, the, the classic, classic traditional pro wrestlers, they wear short speedos. That's why I wear to, to symbolize, to signify, you know, who I am. Uh, is there anything else, anything else you want to say to your fans? So, the American fans, Uh, to all the fans, fight fans, I I gonna do my best, and uh, if I come out victorious, it'll be great. But uh, I just uh, I promise you, I do my best to entertain the fans in the U.S. and around the world. So please expect a good fight. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thank you.